In a remarkable feat, along with the induction motor, Tesla patented the whole polyphase system, which made alternate current a practical means for long-range power transmission. It was now possible for electricity to be accessible to the average American. Teaming up with George Westinghouse, Tesla set out to electrify the US. But Thomas Edison, heavily invested in the inferior direct current, wouldn't surrender his hopes to the new technology. The costly battle, which would become known as the War of the Currents, would practically bankrupt Westinghouse. Unable to secure new investments due to his royalty contract with Tesla, Westinghouse saw Edison and his direct current method poised for victory. Tesla viewed this as a giant leap backwards for mankind's progress. Instead of being concerned with his own financial gain, Tesla tore up his contract so Westinghouse could continue to implement the polyphase system. Tesla's sacrifice ultimately led to affordable electricity for the masses. The high cost of direct current would have made that impossible should Edison have triumphed. The royalty contract Tesla had with Westinghouse would have made him a billionaire at the time. Instead, the humanitarian inventor would die almost penniless in the Hotel New Yorker.